Hey, YouTube. For those of you who've been around for a while, you'll recognize Crunchy. This is our 2000 uh, Toyota Echo. I've had this thing for a while, and we're here in the schizophrenic shop just doing, well, one thing for a change. Let me run around here, and this is why we call it Crunchy. It's got crunched in the back. Had to make a modified license plate holder bracket light and uh had to get creative with keeping the tail lights in place but this car sort of got retired a while back when we got our new truck and then my lady got her little truck because this car has what we call a millennial anti-theft device it's a five speed and uh, she didn't want to drive it. But now, for those of you who are watching the news and hearing things, uh, gas is predicted to get really stupid here in the summer. So we pulled Crunchy out of mothballs, and yeah, the bloody thing wouldn't start. <laughs> this is, car has been nothing but a joy to have because it just kept going, going, gets 40 miles to the gallon. And wouldn't you know it, when we decided to bring it back out and put it back on the road, it wouldn't start. And it drove us nuts trying to figure out why it wouldn't start. And I won't bore you with uh, all of, we checked all the grounds, redid all the grounds, starter, we you know, had it all bench tested, but we couldn't figure it out. Finally, we were sitting here talking with a friend of ours from New York on the phone and just, you know, BSing. And he says, well, what about the neutral safety switch? I said, well, no, no, it's a standard but that's when the light bulb went off and when my lady friend was learning how to drive this car i guess she was just a little well, shall we say enthusiastic about stepping on the clutch and actually bent the little ear that sticks out of the clutch pedal that actuates the uh clutch safety switch so after several hours of messing around, messing around, messing around, one random uh, comment from a friend led us to basically taking a pair of vice grips and bending that bracket back and the car starts and runs perfectly. The reason it's all apart right now, you can see the door panels are all apart, is uh, in the door in front of me, I won't buy, if you look over there in the other door, you see that foam thing? That fell out <laughs> in the door, the door right here in front of us. And the window had only run halfway down. And that window over there has actually come loose from its moorings. So we got the parts for it later, later on this evening with our, our daily town run. So we're going to slap Crunchy back together again. And I'd imagine he'll be, uh, he'll be lead car here. We're keeping our truck, of course. We have a newer Chevrolet truck, but uh, new functional air conditioning, all that stuff is just wonderful to have. But uh, in the upcoming days, especially, I get the feeling that the uh, 18 miles to the gallon that the Chevy gets is going to keep it parked compared to the now, pretty close to 40 miles an hour, five, excuse me, 40 miles a gallon uh, that this little Echo gets. So, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, poor window, at least the window didn't fall. But uh, this will be our project for the next couple of days, just keeping it together. The big thing that doesn't work is the air conditioning, which is why we're spending so much time Making sure the windows work. Yeah, that 2270 air conditioning. <laughs> but that's what's going on with Toadstead. There's some other stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, you'll be seeing that if you haven't already. The wire cutter and some other stuff we got going on. But this is bringing back our little gas miser car. Let's hope we don't need it too, too long. Gas prices are just nuts. Thanks a lot, y'all. We'll see you next time around.